Hello, everyone. My name is Shen Wang. I'm a PhD student at the University of Illinois at Chicago. In this video, I would like to present our work, Mixed Curvature Multi-Relational Graphing Network for Knowledge Graph Complexion. This work was done during my internship at uh, AWS. Here is the overview of my presentation. I will first introduce the, the background, then I will go in details of the proposed method. Next, I will present the experiment and the results. Finally, I will give a summary. Knowledge graph are popular data structures for representing and reasoning over knowledge space and consist of a set of facts represented as a triple with a head entity, relation, and a tail entity. Recently, KGS are cured and used in various applications, such as question answering, search, recommender system, natural language understanding, and so on. However, modern knowledge graphs like Freebase, Yago, DVPedia are very large, and they usually suffer from incompleteness, where a large number of valid relations are missing. This problem naturally gave rise to the task of knowledge graph complexion, which predicted the missing link. Recent studies have shown that KGS multi-relational graphs are not uh, structured uh, uniformly and uh, display intrinsic uh, heterogeneous uh, structures. Here we demonstrate uh, two KG examples uh, showing hierarchical and uh, cyclic uh, structures uh, respectively. As shown in the upper figure, in the triple George Lucas right uh, Star Wars, George Lucas is a parent of uh, Star Wars, therefore exhibiting a higher level than Star Wars in the hierarchy. In the lower figure, each entity connects with another uh, entity in a cycle uh, in a way that uh, George Lucas is at the same level as uh, Star Wars, Han Solo, Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones, and the kingdoms of the Crystal Scrolls. Uh, then we come up with the question, how to capture and uh, preserve the, the intrinsic uh, the genius structure in KG? The embedding methods are shown to be powerful tools for KG complexion. The basic idea is to map the, the entity relation to a latent vector space while preserving the semantic and the inherent structures. Uh, the Euclidean, Euclidean space approach are proposed to specifically model the grid structure and uh, the hyperbolic space approaches are uh, proposed to specifically model the hierarchical structure. However, uh, knowledge graph data don't have a nicely regimented structure. If we try to represent data that isn't uh, tree-like, we can run into problems uh, in hyperbolic space. So there is a uh, matching issues here, which can be understood in terms of uh, graph uh, primitives like the, gra the grid fits the Euclidean space, trees fit the hyperbolic space, and the cycles fit the spherical space. Then we come up with another question, what is uh, the red space to map? Uh, to answer this question, we come up uh, with a solution, uh, M2GN, uh, mixture the, mixture the curvature, multi-relational graph neural networks. Uh, it uh, consists of uh, two important uh, components, uh, including the mixture the curvature translational distance model and uh, graph neural updater. The mixture the curvature translational distance model mapped uh, the notch graph entities and relations into a mixture the curvature product embedding space. Uh, it is uh, defined and constructed a mixture of the curvature space through a product manifold combining the multiple single curvature space, uh, including spherical, hyperbolic, and Euclidean. With the help of that, it can better model the intrinsic heterogeneous structure among the notch graph. The graph neural updater uh, model adaptively uh, integrates the heterogeneous relational context in the mixture of the curvature space. And the land embedding can better exploit the data homogeneity the structures by leveraging the multi hop information in the mixture curvature space. As the mixture the curvature translational distance model is constructed by the multiple constant curvature space, we first introduced the constant curvature translational distance model. 
here is uh, the geometry of uh, the constant uh, curvature space. Uh, we can see that uh, the uh, vector and the matrix operations of the hyperbolic and uh, uh, spherical space is different from that uh, in uh, Euclidean space. The translational distance model is uh, a simple and uh, effective embedding approach for KG data modeling, which maps the, the entities and uh, relations uh, to the latent uh, semantic space and uh, measure the distance between the relational translated uh, head. Uh, entity and uh, the tail entity. Here we construct uh, our uh, con constant curvature uh, curvature model in the form of the translational distance uh, in uh, Euclidean hyperbolic and the uh, spherical space, as follow. After we have the, the constant uh, curvature translational distance model, we introduce the, the mixture uh, curvature translational distance model. Uh, we first uh, in, uh, in introduced the uh, how we construct the, the mixture the curvature product space. The mixture the curvature product space is constructed by performing the condition uh, product of a separate component space. Uh, then each component space is a d dimensional uh, constant curvature space with a curvature k. The chief advantage of this approach is that the decomposability carries over the high levels uh, concept and the algorithm. This means the distance function can be obtained by performing the decomposition as follows. Since the product space can be decomposed into three types of space, spherical, hyperbolic, and Euclidean, all vector-like operation can be conducted in the corresponding space component. The score function in the mixture curvature product space can be described by summary of the distance of uh, each uh, component uh, space. However, the constructed uh, uh, mixture curvature space typically requires uh, manually defined uh, the fixture, fixed curvatures, uh, which need uh, domain knowledge and additional data analysts. Uh, improperly defined curvature space uh, also cannot uh, capture the structure of uh, the uh, KGS accurately. To address uh, this problem, we set uh, the mixed uh, curvature uh, as uh, the trainable parameters to better capture the underlying uh, structure of the KG. Then we introduced uh, our proposed uh, graph neuron updater, which leverages the relational context uh, in the mixture of the curvature space. The motivation of this uh, model is that uh, the uh, recent work uh, that shows that uh, the relational context uh, helps to improve the, the KG embedding quality. And also the uh, different relational contexts uh, may have different importance. Uh, based on this two motivation, we propose a GN-based embedding updating module to update the embeddings of the entities and the relations by selectively aggregating the relational context in the mixture curvature space. Uh, the graph neural updater is uh, basically uh, consider uh, a number of uh, important steps. First, uh, we uh, compute, uh, construct uh, the local uh, relational context uh, by the message embedding. Uh, then we compute uh, the, the message, uh, uh, the importance and uh, the attentional value of uh, the uh, message embedding. And uh, after that, uh, we combine uh, the new entity embedding and the new uh, relational embedding view the attentional fusion and the linear mapping respectively. Here is the, the experimental setups. We're using three standard uh, data sets, uh, which uh, uh, have the different uh, structure heterogeneity and the scale. Uh, we're using the MR and the hit rate at 1, 3, 10 as the evaluation matrix. And we consider multiple baseline, including the Euclidean uh, embedding models, uh, com complex embedding models, and uh, neural networks models, and also the hyperbolic models. The here is the overall result. M2GN outperform all the baseline on through all three data sets with the various types of structure, and uh, the mixture the curvature method outperform the single curvature method, and also the single curvature method uh, performs the differently but depend on the data set. Uh, we studied uh, the effect, also studied the effectiveness of the graphing networks model. 
uh, here uh, we see that the GN model outperforms the non-GN model, and the multi-head GAT model beat the single-head GAT model. Next, uh, we investigate the role of the dimensionality. We conduct experiments on the WN18R and uh, report the MR of the mixture curvature models against the single curvature uh, uh, models. We can see that uh, uh, the MURMP or KT method achieved a better performance across a broad range of dimensions, especially in low dimensionality. We also investigate how to perform uh, the, the performance of uh, the proposed method in is affected by relation types on uh, WNR. Uh, we report a number of uh, metrics uh, to describe each relations. Here we can see that the mixture of the curvature method outperform all the single constant curvature method. Uh, and also it is important to set the curvatures of uh, the constant uh, uh, curvature space and uh, the space weight uh, correctly. Uh, this parameter set uh, provides flexibility for the model to capture the intrinsic uh, heterogeneous uh, structures in KG data. Specifically, we report uh, the land uh, curvatures and uh, the space weight uh, for each data set in the table. In the end, we summarize our works. This is the first attempt to formulate the problem of KG embedding in a mixture of the curvature space for KG complexion. And each entity and relation are mapped in a mixture of curvature product space. Uh, we developed a multi-relational graph new networks frameworks, M2GN. Uh, it is we proposed a trainable uh, heterogeneous curvature and a uh, space weight to better capture the intrinsic uh, heterogeneous structure in KG. And uh, it generalized the graph networks uh, to multi-relational settings to overcome the limitation of uh, the translational distance model by more effectively leverage uh, the heterogeneous relational context. And uh, it also outperformed the, the single uh, geometry counterpart and uh, the existing state of art uh, embedding method on the standard KG complexion tasks. This is the end of uh, this uh, presentation. Thank you.